Leg day with Frank. I love it. The way I like to do this exercise is not stop at the top edge, just all the way up and then down slow. So constant tension. Yeah. Yep. What happens when people are locking out their knees at the top? I don't think it's bad to, to, to stop right at the top, but most people yeah. stop on the way down. Mm -hmm. you know? I, I say just don't stop it, just go down slow with it. It's perfect the way you're doing it. Look at your quads, how they're popping out doing that. We had a leg curl combination, leg curl, leg extension machine that Joe Gold made. It was fantastic. And I think it still exists yeah. at, at the New Gold's gym. Yeah. They have this big, huge place. They have all that old equipment in there. Yeah. And we really got good leg work on that. I want to barely touch. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. And one leg back stretch. So how many reps were, were you guys doing back in the heyday? Would you go like high? No, 10, reps? 12, usually. 10, 12. Like Arnold always did 10 reps on everything. Really? Yeah, you work up and wait, always 10 reps. Always 10 reps? Yeah. Come on, bro. Now the thing about leg press is, let me do a first set. Yeah. You rest for that set. Okay. Uh, if you put your feet down low, it tends to work more quads. And so I tend to do it with my feet lower. Now I line up the bar with that handle over there and that tells me what depth to go. I don't want it touching these things, but I want it coming close. Yeah. Oh, this is good. So what you guys can see is Frank, he manipulated all his machines yeah. to have resistant bands on them. Yep. Man, you're, that's, that's really intense, man. Little hints for building bigger muscles. Good. So me and Frank actually train very similar. He's, he's known for having the slow negatives He's one of the first guys to really start incorporating that in his training for bodybuilding. Yeah, I started in 79 doing that. Probably better on your joints also. Oh yeah. A lot of people do joint training, fast reps. The other thing is soft lockouts, not hard lockouts. Yeah. So first thing is place your feet right here, grab on here. The idea is to keep this, don't lean, don't stretch forward because if you do it, you, you basically mean you're engaging your, your lower back and your butt. So basically go below parallel, don't quite lock out. So your toes are pressed up against here? Yeah. Now see, don't, don't stick your butt, just like this. Just lean back more? Yeah, yeah. Got you. 
Uh, better, better. But see, now your knees are back here. Try to keep your knees in line with your toes. Okay. See, you, you actually, so used to regular squatting. Yeah. You're carrying it over. That's better. I'm gonna get the hang of it. Even more, but sort of move it up like this. Yeah, right there. Oh, there you go. I got you. There Woo. you go. Way different. Your legs are working now. You're not building your butt and you're making your lower back thicker. Great machine. Simple but effective. Let's put some more weight on it. How about a third set? Oh, yo. Love these. 105. 105. Feels heavier. Does, because your thighs are doing the work. <laughs> Works better than any cab machine I've used. Yeah, it's a free weight too. Mm. So leg curl and superset it with with donkeys. And so go up and hold, hold, that's it, good, and down. Like 15 good reps like that. This is a great calf machine. So learn from the legend. Last and drop sets. Train your calves twice a week. Super intense. And end with the seated cab raise. So by the time we get to the seated cab raise, our Achilles already warmed up. Come on, Frank, I'm about to jump on your back, brother. Ugh. Let me hop on there. Bad. Not bad. So you'll end up doing maybe 20 reps, and I'll just keep pulling them off as we go along. You're right. Yeah. Good, keeps going. <sighs> Keep going. <sighs> last one, last one. You got it. Great. Fantastic. 
That was the set, man. Excellent. Well, Sadiq and myself, we just finished working legs. I didn't do too much, but Sadiq did two sets of everything. It's a concise workout. It's seven exercises. It's, it's, it's leg day, you know. I mean, all leg day is basically training with machines, and they have some good ones here for legs, and I rely on those to get a, get a good workout. You, got, you, you look good on all of those. Thank you, brother. So what's your philosophy on leg day? How long should you be in a gym? How many sets? The most I would do is those three exercises, it would be about 20 sets. Yeah, like three, 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 12 for thighs, and then maybe, uh, you know, two exercises, six for, uh, for, for calves. Great. Well, thanks for the workout, Frank. My pleasure. It was Appreciate great. Appreciate it, man. Great Thank having you. you and great workout. Appreciate it.